All right, so this song is called Burden. Um, Save Our Children, a fizz, official fizzle, fizzle my nizzle. Uh, official music fizzle. Burden, Save Our Children, official music video. There, we got it. Woo! That took me a, lot, a little bit longer to... I can't talk now. Okay, let's try to get this. Welcome back to another video, guys. And, uh, you know, it's it's been a rough, rough week, month, actually, technically speaking. I'm getting ready for a trip. So, um, I hope you guys enjoy this. This is called Save Our Children by Burden. Fisher Music Video. <laughs> Missing. Apple Vision film. So missing, it's gonna be about that type of stuff, okay. Picture this, four-year-old little girl, she don't play much. She don't smile, she don't laugh, she don't say much. She don't know what it is to be a kid. She don't have any friends but grown men. And what they want, you know what they want, what they paid for. Nobody think about the children till they take yours. And nobody could imagine this could ever happen to have a kid never living next door. The truth could bring tears. 1.2 million children a year. 1.1 COVID deaths worldwide. You won't help save the kids, but you will live in fear. The more that I hear, more disgust that I get. That the world could commit so much horrible sh so for the children used bruised and abused to you i refuse to forget i'll be looking see that's the thing about like today's society we we, we put our focus on so many things that we forget to actually look into that there's a, there's a few organizations that i actually support and i'm going to be donating money when i get back even more money than usual um i'm going to be canceling some of my subscriptions to go and support some of these places and one isn't a um a place to help people who want to have children or do not want their children and it's um it's located here in venice and they help people um financially who want to have the children but are afraid to and they want to have an abortion and these people come in and they they um help they financially support the mother and the father they give the supplies they help them through everything if they want to set up for adoption they'll keep them um unknown they won't put their name out they won't you know they're, they're they will be there for you everywhere you are you know there's other organizations that I support that are um, like end abortion now. They go to clinics, they help people, and they support people. These people are also these people will also pay for everything that you need. They have people lined up already ready to adopt your child. There's other organizations that help stop prostitution, sex work. There's other organizations that help to stop human trafficking, um, and then also pedophiles there's one that actually uh i guess he was like in the military and when he was traveling around the world his friends and him really noticed a big thing of like high rate of trafficking so they came back to america and they really started digging deep into it and they found out oh my gosh there's a lot of it happening where we are and it's just happening under our nose so what they do is that they go and they the daughter was raped and everything so the daughter to get payback was would be the um would be the bait she would go online, try to find guys, and blah, 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 this and that. She would tell the age of herself, and blah, blah, blah. And the guy would come over the house, and they would talk, and all of a sudden, the, the, the dad would come out with the officers, and then, you know, just be like, what made you think this was right? And then would have him arrested. But those are the type of people that I really support. I remember watching the video. It was like a movie of it. Amazing. Amazing movie. It really went to, down to detail about everything. Um... It was disgusting. It was really disgusting. There was like dads that just dropped their daughters off at soccer, like five-year-old daughters at for soccer, and then went to go to this girl's house that was 15. Like, the, the, it's, uh, this world is, and I live in Florida, the number one state for missing children. And I live on the same coast where the most missing children come from. So, yeah, so it's happening right underneath the noses and we're too blind and too busy to uh, see it. We just want to all go to Disney World and think it doesn't exist. Even though Disney's a red spot. For the rest of our life, man, it's crazy. We know about the raping, we hear about the torture, and all of the stories are horror, but we just ignore them. They don't want to do it, but somebody forced them. What about the third trimester abortion? Two by Dang, this guy is good. Holy crap. This guy's good. This guy's like laying it all out. I love it. Why am I yelling? Dude. This, is a, this was a movement that was 
Save Our Children. Wait a second. Save Our Children was like a movement that got called that conspiracy theorists because we were saying that kids were being smuggled and trafficked like crazy. And because we don't see it, therefore it doesn't exist. You know, this was like something that was like being called a conspiracy theorist. Like, wasn't it like Instagram or Facebook blocking the hashtags of like hashtag Save Our Children because QAnon was using it? Like, that's how stupid this was. Was that, oh yeah, Save Our Children had to do with taking kids and saving them from being kidnapped, sex trafficked, and everything. And like, all these social media platforms like blocked the hashtag because QAnon was using it. I don't even care if you're a conspiracy theorist or not. I don't care if you're a liberal. I just want these kids to be all right and get out of this. This is why I don't agree that sex work is work. Because a lot of this probably started with that. But we just ignore them. They don't want to do it, but somebody forced them. What about the third trimester abortion? Who buys the fetus? Who sets the prices? Some kids will never know how precious life is. They get pumped full of drugs and lay their life lifeless. You ain't ready for the truth, but how hot this mic is, I gotta tell it. If you can ignore this, then you heartless. I know we can take more out of the darkness. And before they make your kid a target, mm. pedophile should die before charge. That is dang, dude. I'm liking this. That's actually the most biblical, like, thing that I just probably heard right now. You know, a pedophile should be, you know, charged with death. And he should. You know, there's many things that in, in the Bible it says if you beat a woman, he, she was pregnant and the baby comes out deformed or, you know, hurt and blah, 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 this and that. The man is to be put to death. So God really views a child, the baby, uh, the pregnancy as, as a really important thing. It's a gift. The children are a gift from God. And I think the Bible can not be any more clear than it is right now about what a baby is. And it's so, it's so stupid when I try to argue with like people that say, you know, um, I had an abortion because I was raped and blah, blah, blah. And you try to ask them like, what, what should the rapist, according to the law, justice, courts, what do you want to be done to the rapist? And they'd be like, I want him to go to prison. I said, you know what? I agree with that. But the standard of God says if you violate somebody else's body, you would to be put to death. If you were to murder somebody, you would be put to death. If you rape somebody, you would be put to death. If you beat a woman, put to death. Same thing goes all the way around. So here's the thing is like, you try to argue with these people that say, you know, all these rapists should go to prison. How is that fair? You're not only making it where as the rape victim have to pay. So this rapist gets free food, free care, free electronics, free cell, a free bed, a good life better than outside. And you're paying for this person. You're not only making it where you're paying for it, but everybody in the community and in the state or country is paying for these rapists to live. When in fact, the Bible says that's unfair. That if you do the actions of these people and what they did, you should be put to death. I don't get it. So it's like, oh, you don't want, you don't want this to stop. You don't want people to fear the law. And it's not bad to fear the law because the law allows you to see what is right. To not obey the law is to live in lawlessness. It, it's, it's simple, okay? I, I just, you know, well, let's continue. Did you know in the year of 2020, statistics still show one out of 10 kids will be victims of human trafficking? And that this year alone, 200,000 of them kids are in the US. There's 130 people That's probably just recorded. every hour worldwide, day or night, rain or shine. 30 million children have lost their childhoods to this horrendous activity. So I don't know about you, but for me, this is unacceptable. And change must happen. Look, there's kids being trafficked and trapped in a world that you don't think exists. The adults that they trusted to teach them and guide them through life. These people are sick. I look at these pictures of innocent children. Not all of them taken, but all of them missed. And I've just been praying that somebody's coming to save them and make them feel happy and bliss. You do not need a cape or superpowers to be a hero. Let's save our children. Let's spread awareness. See me, I'm willing to step up and speak on behalf of the millions of people who fight in this war. Of child trafficking, the rich and the poor. Of all races, selling kids like a store. And y'all's faces, I can't take it no more. Their future depends on us. Right here in this nation, we love and endure. They're hungry and cold. Some sleep on the floor. They keep their head down, not allowed to look forward. Some never felt love. They only felt force. What if we could find them all and bring them home and heal them? Could we come together? Could we work together? Could we stay together now? Save our children. Yeah, hashtag save our children. I wonder if he's queuing on. <laughs> There's a thing called white privilege. He's one of the uh, political controversial but that's the thing is like a lot of people dismissed like the whole save our children thing and dismissed all of it because like QAnon was a big part of it 
You know, and I think that's a stupid reason to even dismiss something like this. Hope you guys really enjoyed this video. It was something different. Uh, well, not really different. I always talk on these topics, but overall, I really like this video. This guy's awesome. I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna write him down to make sure I have him. Or I'm gonna subscribe to his channel so every time he upload something, I'll see it. Um, but overall, this is a really important topic that I would think that anybody should get involved in. At least try to pitch in something, a dollar or something, to some of these uh, organizations. Don't waste your money on all these political driven, stupid, horrendous organizations that are pushing Marxism. Okay, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't put your money towards a political ideology. All right, push your money for this type of stuff. Okay, that's my point of view. I, I have never donated to any political thing. I've only donated my money to the, 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 these type of things. If I were to, if I were to say my 10%, even though I don't believe in tithing, I believe it's more of a giving. Um, and according to the heart and your choice to do this, it's not like you're not going to go to heaven for not tithing. But if tithing was still a thing and you were to tithe 10%, I, I would tithe my 10% to these type of organizations. I would. I would.